that is good because he's an asshole. There was a lot of love in the beginning. The guy was an asshole. There was love in the beginning. A big asshole. I mean, he puts you in a box. You, you know the kind of things they do to you ten times a day if you do a bit in Columbia? Do you? Jesus Christ! Don't shout in here. <laughs> I was alone. I had no money, no clothes, no visa, standing on the corner of Bogota and Columbia. Things did happen. Where were you in prison? Would you pass a cream, please? So we had... The war... Whoa, God. Hey! Can we some uh, new cream here? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's cottage cheese. Uh, the warden there was uh, Joe Regan, Meatball Joe. That slob was a phenologist. I'm a jet airplane pilot. I did 11 years. I got out, what, four years ago. What'd you go up for? I stole $40. $40? Forty yeah. Started with a two-year bit, parole in six months. And right away, I got into this problem with these two guys. They tried to turn me out. So I picked up uh, nine more on, on a manslaughter beef, some other things. I was 20 when I went in, 31 when I come out. Uh, you don't uh, you don't count months and years. Uh, you don't do time that way. What do you mean? Why? Why? You gotta forget time. Uh, you gotta not give a fuck if you live or die. Uh, you gotta get to where nothing means nothing. I'll tell you a story all about it. Once there was this uh, Captain Morphus. This uh, three hundred pound slob. He couldn't write his name. And he had this crew of. Uh, 16 or 17 guards and cons and prison groups, you know, crews. They would uh, <clears throat> go into these cells and grab these young guys and bring them up to hydrotherapy in the mental ward, uh, gangbang. If a guy puts up a struggle, they beat him half to death and he winds up in a funny farm. And Anyway, word comes down that I am next. And I do not know what I am supposed to do. I... Uh, I'm scared. 11, 30, 12, uh, lights come on, and uh, I got this pipe from, uh, from plumbing. And uh, I whack the first uh, guard in the shins, and I go through a convict and another convict. And anyway, I get to Morphus, and I whack him across the head twice. Boom. <clears throat> and then they jump all over me, do a bunch of things. I spend six months in the hospital ward, but Morphus, he is also fucked up real good. Uh, cerebral hematoma. They pension him out, and he can't walk straight, and he dies two years later. Which is a real loss to the planet Earth. Meanwhile, I gotta go back into the uh, mainstream population. And I know the minute I hit the yard, I am a dead man. So I hit the yard, so you know what happens. Uh, I, I don't mean nothing to myself. I don't care about me. I don't care about nothing, you know? And then uh, I know from that day that I survived because I achieved that mental attitude. And then, uh, <clears throat> see, later, I, I worked this out. Stone cell. I mean, what is this? I mean, that is my life. Uh, and uh, nothing, nobody can stop me from making that happen. And uh, right there, that would be you. Who, who's the old man here? That is David Oakler Bertino. He's a master thief, a master. And a great. Man, he's like, he was like a father. He taught me everything that I know about what I do. 
and I told him about you. Did you cut these out from um, magazines and... Yeah, newspapers, whatever. Why do you, why do you, all of these dead people? Inside, you are on ice from time. Uh, you can't even die right, you know? And here, here, people grow. They get old, they die, children come after. Just a cycle, you know? I don't know. I... Yes, you do. Do. You don't know, you don't know from one day to the next whether you're going to be killed, go home, or get busted. Look, I have run out of time. I have lost it all. And so I can't, I can't work fast enough to catch up, and I can't run fast enough to catch up, and the only thing that catches me up is doing my magic act. But it ends, you know? It will end. I got this, right there. If it ends, it's over. And so I'm just asking you to be with me. I can't. I can't. Um, I can't have children. I don't fit into this. Wow, that's what we adopt. I, I am not ready, see, and, and I have my life, so I, I can't. What? I mean, what? What is going on in your life that is so terrific? Mine's been a mess. <laughs> I, was just, I was just thinking, you know, that just maybe between the two of us, that we could make something, something happen, something special, something really nice. I'm just asking you uh, to, uh... Look, and I got a way now that I, I can make it happen faster. I mean, much, much faster. And, um... I'm just, I'm just asking you, you know... Iran. They gotta be big scores, they gotta be fast. One, two, tops. Right. That's it. Where? Third from the top, this side. Alarm systems. Five independent systems. Four silent ringers into an alarm company over the phone lines. Infrared pots, magnetics on the front door, sonic alarm. Vault doors buck. What's this? This is a uh, top floor. Top of the elevator shaft. Those 8 through 14's alarm lines conduit with the phones to the top of the elevator shaft. What about taking the elevator to the top floor, open up the hatch, going in that way? No, no. Elevators are locked down and bugged at night. Your way, I gotta take out two systems. Chop through the roof and get the lines that way. Assuming we get the alarm, what is the box? Richmond Lackett. Richmond Lackett. Terrific. It's a burn job. No way to drill. Drill? Yeah. Drill what? The custom made. You bang on this box all day, nothing happens. Nothing. And I am pulling a lot of exposure. 16, 18 hours in there. Your end covers the risk. 830,000. Four million at wholesale and unmounted stones. What's the fifth alarm? We cannot run it down. Why? Because it does not go out over the phone lines. We swept the lines in the whole building. But we know it is there. How long? Four, eight weeks. Assuming we get the alarm and what to cut the box with. I need a couple car licenses and uh, 
Who's the worker here? Okay. I'll set it.